Hello everyone. In today's video, we will be learning about assist volleyball. But before we start tagging volleyball, let us start learning about volleyball first. Let us start with the overview of volleyball. The first thing we will learn will be court of the volleyball. You can see this is the court on which the volleyball game is played. It is divided by 18 by 9. 18 meters from this side and 9 meters from this side. This is the center line of the court which divides the court in two and from the center line to the attack line the distance is 10 meters, 10 feet. You can see the distance in 3 meters and in feet it is 10 meters. This is the net which is used to divide the court in two. The height of the net for man is 2.43 m, that is 2.43 meters for man and 2.24 for women. This is also called as sideline and this is called as end line. The area behind the end line is called the service area. This is the center line and this is the antenna. The game should be played between this antenna. The rally should keep on going between these two antenna. As explained before, you can see this is the end center line which divides the two team, which divides the court. The red line is attack line which is 10 feet away from the center line. The blue line is the side line which decides the ball out of bounds and inbounds. The purple line is the end line. Behind this is the serve area from where the server will serve. These are the antennas, the orange lines. These are antennas. The height for the height of the net for women's are 2.24 meters and for men's will be 2.42 meters. As I just said, the serving area which is here behind the end line, it is used to serve, to make a serve, to pass the ball over the net to the attacking, to the opposite team. End line that is the back line, back of the boundary, ball going out of the end line will be out of bounds. These are the sidelines. Antenna, there are thin poles that are connected to the nets. A ball touching the antenna would be out of bounds even if it is from inside the court. A ball going out of the antenna will also be out of bounds. Center line. This is the center line. Any player touching the center line will be foul. Will be considered as foul. This is the attack line which divides front row players and back row players. Back row players are not allowed to enter front row line and attack and make an attack. That would be considered as a violation, that would be considered as a foul play. Let us learn the terminology. Serve that is used as to pass the ball over the net as you can see. The server is serving the ball which is called as serve. It is used, it is the start of the game, it is the start of the rally. After serve, if the ball falls down, that is called ace. If a serve, if a server serves the ball and if the ball falls inside the court of the opponent team or if it touches any player of the opponent team and falls out that is called as an ace which is considered a point for the home team. 
rally rally is considered as a continuing of a game play going in between two teams pass that is also called as serve receive after the serve when the player receives the ball that is called as pass it is also called as serve receive and the last one is set after the serve when the pass is completed the setter sets the ball which is used which lead the which is used to make an attack the setter leads the team this is how a serve ace looks like as you can see the server is serving from behind the end line and the ball falls inside the court of the opponent team this is a point for the home team rally as you can see the game is kept on playing which is called as rally this can keep on going until one of the team makes a score as you can see here is the server who serves the ball and the libro that this player receives the ball which is called as pass a pass to a setter this is called as serve receive a pass to the setter this is called as set the setter makes the set in simple terms this is called as an assist to an attack that leads to an attack which result in a point or an attack error you can see the setter is setting the ball this is called as set let us continue terminology after an attack <coughs> what is an attack an attack is an offensive term which results in a point or in an attack error a point for the home team or a point for the opposite team if the attacker makes a complete attack if it makes a complete kill that means it's a point for the home team but if the attacker makes an error that will be a point for the opposite team what is assist you can clearly see in this video the setter is setting the ball for the attacker this means if an attacker makes an kill if he makes a point that means he will be asked who assisted the attacker so you can see every time the setter sets the ball he will be the assist he would be marked as the assister you will be asked assist only for the attacks that will make points only for the attack kills kill an attack that results directly in a point or a side out let us see so this is called as an attack and the point and the ball falls down in the court of the opponent team so here if they ask who assisted the attacker you can put the jersey number of the setter who is setting the ball and here's the attacker who is attacking the ball
and the point that a kill the attacker is making a kill that means she is directly making a point that is called as kill dig after an attack the first touch that is considered as dig you can see the opposite team is attacking the ball and number 12 is touching the ball this is called as the first touch that is considered as dig it's a block block is when the opponent team is trying to block the attacking team to score a point as you can see in this video the opponent team there is a black team is trying to attack and the white team white team players are trying to block the ball so if the block is complete if the blocking team wins the point that means the block is completed and the home team and the white team will get a point let us learn about the positions of the players now let us start there are six athletes playing on the court and one additional athlete sitting on the bench for substitution So these are the six positions on the court. The first is libero, setter, outside hitter, opposite right side hitter, middle blocker, defensive specialist. Starting with libero, you can recognize the libero is wearing a different jer color jersey. Libero will always be wearing a different jersey color, who is specialized in defensive skill. She can substitute in and out whenever she wants to. that will not affect the rotation as you can see over here the libero she is wearing different jersey color from the other teammates a libero never rotates to the front row and can replace any position in the back row the substitution of libero will not be counted as substitution she can rotate in for any of the players playing on the court setter setter is in charge of the offense much like in the guard point guard in basketball she is the one who is leading the team she is the one who decides who will attack what will be the strategy of the game If the setter wants to set the ball for the opposite hitter, she will decide who who will be go, who will be going for an attack, the opposite hitter or the right side hitter. Or if she wants to make an attack herself, she wants to drop the ball. So the setter plays an important role in the game. She is the one who leads the team to a point or to an attack error. the setter is responsible for a good set if she is able to make a good set for the attacker that is a good ball and if she is not able to set a good ball for the attacker that will be a bad pass outside hitter as you can see she is attacking from the outside of the net of the line she is the tallest player of the team okay she is mainly in charge of attacking the ball most of the time the setter will set the ball only to her so that they get the point on offense this person is usually on the main passers and to a go hitter so on defense this person will go back if the attacking team is attacking she is responsible to make a block she, she will just come forward and stops the block attacking team of the opponent side opposite right hitter she is similar to outside hitter she is just opposite opposite to the right, opposite to the outside hitter the setter will get two options either either to set opposite right side hitter or to set outside hitter 
she is the one who leads the game so she will be the one who will decide who we, who is good at her position and who will be good at the following attack so the setter will either set to opposite right side hitter or to the outside hitter middle blocker the tallest player in the team is usually involved in blocking the ball the main responsibility of the middle blocker is to block the opposition is to block the attack of an opposition team as you can see they are the tallest player in the team and they will always be standing in the middle of the court they are also sometimes used by the setter to make quick set attacks defensive specialist as as the name suggests these players are used for defensive plays consider if a front row player makes a rotation in uh, into the back row and that player is weak in defense so this player defensive specialist will be substituted with that player so that their defensive skills go up rules of volleyball the duration a match can be best five games that is best of five games or best of three games in a best of five games a team has to win three sets and a best of three games they have to win two sets if in a best of five games and best of three games the last set will always be set of 15 this is decided before the match is started and during this in the fifth and the third set if the set is of 15 each team will rotate sides after the eight point to win a set a team must a team must lead with two points if a score is 25 24 the set will continue until a team leads by two points so the legal score will be 25 27 or 21 23 or 15 21 or 2515 between the sets there is a brief stoppage of play the typical game length is about 2 hours the teams will switch sides after every set and each play starts off with a serve this is how the game play will start each play will starts off with a serve the server will step behind the end line and will make a serve After the serve the player from the opposite team will receive the pass that is the serve receive and after making a serve receive the setter will set the ball and if the set is good enough the attacker from the opposite team will make an attack the setter has to make the serve a very good serve so that the attacker is able to make an attack The server must make the ball go over the net and should not touch the line. If he touches the line, that means it is an serve error. Or if he takes more than eight seconds, that will be serve violation, serve error. And points are scored at the end of rally. Team who scores the point wins the rally and wins the serve. after every serve after every break point the team with the serve break point will rotate once will make a rotation if the receiving team wins a rally they score a point and will rotate only 3 touches are allowed in a game during a rally if a team is making a four touch that will be counted as error a block touch is does not count as a touch so if a attacker is attacking and if a blocking team is trying to block the ball and gets a deflection and the ball falls even in the court of the opponent team so that the block touch is not counted counted as a first touch they can again make three touches no player can touch twice <coughs> in a row If a player is touching two twice in a row, it will be called as error. If two players hit the ball at the same time, that means it will be counted as counted as two touches, and the next touch we should be able to make two next touch should be able to clear the net. The ball can touch any part of the body. 
if the ball is hit into the net you can still play it as long as it is within the within the three hits okay so consider if a player if a setter sets the ball and attacker is trying to attack the ball and it touches the net and falls inside the court then the th fourth person is not allowed to make a touch but if the same thing happens on second touch if a person if a player touches the ball and the attacker attacks the ball on the second touch and if it touches the net and the third player sends the ball over the net then it is counted counted as third touch if the ball hits the end line or the side line that means it is considered as in bounds even it is touching the slightest of the line that will be considered as in bounds for outer bounds the ball has to go out of the line even uh, if the ball touches the antenna that will be considered as out of bounds a player can go out of the side line and attack but the ball should be inside the antenna if a player touches the net that will be called as foul and the point will be awarded to the opponent team teams must win by at least 2 points for the games to end after an attack hit a player is permitted to pass his hand beyond the net provided that the contact has been made on the side of the net this is how the attack rotation looks like these are the pos positions of all the players you can see one as a setter middle blocker this is outside hitter and this is an opposite hitter the middle blocker always standing in the middle the tallest players of the team as you can see if a uh, team a consider this is team a and this is team b if team a breaks the serve of team b setter will move one rotation clockwise from one to position 6 and number 2 will move to position 1 so this is how it they will move from 1 to 6 6 to 5 5 to 4 4 to 3 and 3 to 1 and 2 will go in the position of 1 from this the server will make the serve any player who is coming to position 1 will make a serve violations violations in volleyball there are six type of violations seven types of violations in volleyball first is out of rotation double contact four hits left net violation red card and yellow card in out of rotation if during the rotation if a player <coughs> takes more than a step and a half without rotation out of rotation a uh, volleyball that is in if a team that is after a serve after a break point after a serve break point if a team makes an error in during this rotation the ref will called a rotation violation and the serve and the point will be awarded to the opponent team and the team who was serving the ball who made the rotation violation the serve will be given to the opposite team so consider if team a is serving the ball and if a team b makes a violation of rotation then the point will award when the point will be awarded to team a but if the team a is serving and if the team a same team makes a rotation then the violation rotation violation then the point will be awarded to the b team and the serve and the team a will lose their serve and the team b will be serving the next serve this is how the referee will signal out the rotation violation double contact if a player makes a double contact during the game if it touches twice in a row the ref will called out a signal that is called as double touch this is also called as ball, ball handling error double contact This is how the ref will signal out double contact. 
he will raise his one hand and show the two fingers this mostly happens while setting the ball the setter while setting the ball for the attacker so the ref will signal out this and will call as ball handling error also called as double contact four contacts uh during a rally in a game during a rally only three touches are allowed for a team to pass the ball over the net so if a team makes the fourth contact that will be called as attack error that will be called as a violation that will be called as an error and the point will award it to the opposite team the ref will signal four fingers as you can see he will raise his hand and will show four fingers lift this is called as carry this is how the signal of lift looks like he will just raise his hands upwards lift is also called as carry this is when the ball clearly comes to the player and he is trying to lift the ball he is trying to carry the ball and passing it over the net net violation any if the ball if a player touches the net then the ref will call a net violation or if the player crosses the center line it will be called as net violation they are not allowed to touch the net during a rally during the game the point the team who touches the net will lose the point and the opposite team will gain the point the ref will signal towards the net of the team making the net touch this is how the ref will show the signal let us see of all the hand signals of the violations all the hand signals that are made during the game this hand signal indicates the team to serve this will be made during the start of the rally every time the server starts every time a serving team is going to serve the ref will signal this to start the serve if a server unintentionally serves the ball the ref will again tell him to serve the ball that serve will not be counted and he will be asked again to make a serve this signal shows that the team is taking a time out the ref will show this signal she he or she will make a signal as t and will show to hand will show the hand towards the team who is taking the time out the ref will signal out this as a hand signal for substitution end of game or end of a set the ref will display this hand signal if there is a set end or if the game ended he will signal this cross hands that means the set has ended or the game has ended this is how he will make rotational signal if there is a rotation violation on any of the team the ref will signal his hand towards the team who is making the rotation violation and will indicate this signal this is uh, when the ball is inside the court when the ball landed inside the court the ref will signal like this and will show the ball landed inside the court this is when the ball touches the sideline or the end line that means or the antenna that means the ball is out of bounds and it is an error this is also called as catch and carry also called as lift if the ball has been held or thrown or carried so whenever a player try to lift or carry the ball the ref will signal as this this is double contact or called as ball hanging error if a player makes two touches at the same time or during the set if the setter makes two contacts the ref will signal out these two fingers raising his hand or her hand and show double contact or ball handling error of that player four hits if there is a team 
player is making a four hits the ref will call out a foul play and will show this signal so if, if the the team is allowed to make three touches during a rally if the team that makes four touch will called as error and the opposite team will be awarded with a point and the ref will signal out like this showing four fingers as four hits This is how this is when a team from any of the uh, a player from any of the team touches the net the ref will show the hand towards the net and the heads towards the team who is touching the net and the point will awarded to the opposite team This is called as jump ball if there is a disturbance during the game if a player gets injured during a serve during a rally or if something happens during the game in between the rallies the ref will stop the game and will show these two fingers two thumbs and will stop the play and will signal out of replaying the game so the team who was serving the ball will start to serve again no points will be awarded to any of the team it is just a replay of the game so the rally will not be tagged and the game will be replayed again the server will serve the ball again this is when uh, if there is a deflection at the blocking touch so sometimes uh, the ball if the attacker is attacking the ball and there is a slight touch of the blockers and the ball went out the player the analyst are not able to see the touch but over there the ref will signal out a slight touch this signal during the game so you can consider there was a deflection of the blockers coming to stats what are all the stats that will be required that will be tagged during the game so these are all the stats these all will be tagged in the game these all will be required in the game starting with attack if a player is trying to attack it will either be attack kill or attack error so if a, if a team makes a point it will be an attack kill if a attacker attacks the ball and it directly hits the ground that means it is a direct point that is attack kill if an attacker attacks the ball and it deflects the opposite player opposition team player and goes out of the bounds that mean it is an attack kill and the point is awarded to the team who is attacking attack error the attack the error made during an attack is called as an attack error if a attacker is trying to attack and apply too much force on his or her attack and the ball went out of the bounds that means that is an attack error and the point will be awarded to the opposite team if an attacker is attacking a ball on he or she touches the net that means it is an attack error and the opposition team will win the point similarly if an attacker is attacking a ball and if the opposite team touches the net that means it is an attack kill that means our error is made by the opposition team that means the point will be awarded to the attacking team that will be considered as attack kill assist 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 will be given only for an attack kill if there is an attack error you won't be asked who made an assist assist are most of the times made by the setter because the setters always set the ball for the attacker so most of the time the assist will be the setters assist will be made by the setters digs as shown in the video before a dig is given when the player passes the ball to the setter or the player passes the ball to the players it is always the second touch i mean 
if an attacker is making an attack and the player who receives the ball that is called as dig as shown in the previous video dig will not become in the first rally that is if the server is serving the ball and if the receiver from the opposition team receives the ball that will not be considered as dig that will be considered as serve receive after the serve receive if a team is making an attack and the attack is received by the opposition team that will be considered as dig blocks the blocks happen during the attack of the opposition team if a attack if a team is trying to attack and if the opposition team is trying to block the ball that is considered as block and if the block is considered that means the attacking team fails to clear the blockers if the ball falls down in the same court that means the blocking team wins a point during the block if the blocking team touches the net that means they made an block error and during the block if the attacking team touches the point that means they made an attack error serve during the serve you as we have seen in the video during the serve if the serve directly falls onto the ground or if the serve touches a player if the ball touches the player of the opposition team and wins out of the ground out of the sideline or the end line the serve will be considered as ace the point will be awarded to the team who is serving if a server touches the line and line that will be called as serve error if a server fails to make a serve within 8 seconds it will also be considered as serve error serve receive after the serve if the server passes the ball over the net the person who is receiving the ball on the opposite side will be called as serve receive free ball will be the underarm pass that is to clear the ball over the net as we can see in this video <laughs> on the third touch this player is trying to clear the ball making an underarm pass over the net that is called as free ball you can clearly see this player is passing the ball underarm over the net this is called as free ball the last one is cover consider during an attack if the blocker at blocks the ball if an attacker is attacking and the blockers block the ball there is a deflection from the blocking side and the same team receives the ball who is attacking that dig is called as that is considered as cover as we can see in this video the attacker is making an attack and there is a deflection from the blocking side opposition team and the same team is receiving the ball the same team who were attacking receives the ball this is considered as cover we can clearly see the attacker is attacking the ball and there is a deflection from the blocking team this touch is called as cover if the same team receives the ball after the block touch that is considered as cover